guys <clears throat> welcome back to another resin video I'm just cleaning this uh, mold because I've just put water in it to see how much it holds and I think I'm I think I'm gonna be right but you don't want water left in it so this one is the jewelry box with the antlers but I am going to pour the resin in on this and then put it in the curing machine after from tea expert that I had okay so that's clean now so I've got it I'm doing this one first and then on the next tray I have got the antlers I don't want them touching this well it doesn't matter if they touch the sides I suppose but they need to flow where they want to flow without uh, me holding them <laughs> you know what I mean earrings and stuff have got to be be able to fit on all of the, the stem things Okay, so I'm going to leave them to last. Uh, I'm not quite sure what colour to do this. I might do white and blue. That might look nice. Alright, so these are the colours I've decided to do. So while my resin is in its heat bath, I'm going to put these in here for a change and then add the resin instead of doing it the other way around. So from Let's Resin, I have got the mica powder in pink. So I'm going to put that in one and I've got their mica powder in white. I'm only going to use a little bit because I sort of want it to show through a little bit. I don't know. It ends up how it ends up with me. I have these ideas in my head but you know sometimes just they just never never ever end up how I, want, how I wanted them in the first place. So mm -hmm. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I don't know. I'm going to just, as I say, I'm literally going to put a little bit in because I want some clear still in this one so I can swirl the colours around. I've got the idea in my head. I'm quite looking forward to this one. So I'm going to put a little bit more in, that little bit. I'm not putting any more in than that. And then the same with the pink. Do you know, do you know what? When I used to do nails, I don't know if I've said this before, I used to be scared to death of mica powder. I would not use it to save my life if I had to. Um, but now I'm doing resin, you literally use it for for everything. It's crazy. So I'm going to get some more glamour dust because like, why not? And then I've got this iridescent ice from Sparkle Supplies UK. It's got to be even. Not well, not not that it matters really. So I'm gonna put heaped heaped heat well wow heaped spoonful in there and I'm gonna do the same again. I I want this one nice and sparkly. Oh look at them how pretty Right so then we're done. Let me just wait another what is it another five minutes for my resin to be nice and warm bloody warmer than I am right now. Okay, let's fast forward this, even I get bored of watching. <laughs> Alright, so uh, I'm just going to pour away.
Right, so I did clean out the all of these because like I'm not wasting these just for a couple of ounces of what I need. So what am I gonna do? I will do I'm gonna do three ounces and hope that one and a half fluid ounces is is enough for each one. If not, I give up. <laughs> Tell you this is something else. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is something else. This 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 takes concentration. My goodness. Cool, blimey. I think that's all done now. Oh, so I'm just gonna add them as well to the curing machine. The next morning. Okay guys, so this is the next day. I just let him do the do inside of the drying machine. Oh my god, look at this! Apart from a little bit of, um, it hasn't mixed up very well there. I am s in there and around there. I am so happy with this. Please excuse the dog if you can hear him. He's play he's having a play. He's been really poorly, so um, I'm not going to complain about him having a play. So Look at that, antlers! These are so cool! Okay, let's unmold the antlers first. Very carefully. Very carefully. Oh, good lord. Okay, I'm going to fast forward through this because um, this is very delicate work. All right, so this one is the last thing to unmold. It, one thing I will say is Let's Resin has like a, a, a square block where you can hold things in place. And this is one of the things that needed it. I mean, look, look, it's like wavy that side. It's wavy that side. And these sides aren't too bad, but yeah, that's terrible, that is. Um, so yeah, you need something to push it in so it stays straight. I might even think about that. Right, are we ready? Let's get all the compartments done. Oh my lord. Okay, I've got it. Okay. Oh my god, look at that. No way. Oh god, that's gorgeous! Nothing on there, that's nice and clean. Oh my god, look at that. Wow. Oh, I'm well chuffed with that. So, now, now it's out the mould. I don't quite know how to show you. It won't sit straight on, there you go. It won't sit straight on the table because it's all wavy. See this has got a shadow sort of thing here where it's on the table and this part hasn't because it's not on the table. Okay, all right, let's put these in. So they're supposed to go out ways. <laughs> I think you can still manipulate them. So I might have to put some uh, sellotape on just to keep them in a nice position. This has got some extra there, so I'm going to have to file that off. Oh, 
There we go. Look at that! God, it's massive. Holy moly. Okay, let's get some sellotape. And let's put some around there. Okay, so they are stuck like that. That's a little bit better. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna keep it like this for now. And then when, I'll come back tomorrow when I know these are gonna be fully cured because um, they are still a little bit on the flimsy side. So uh, hopefully I'll come back and they stay where they put. If not, then you'll know that you can't do that, but I might as well try anyway. Other than that, guys, I love this. Look at that, seriously. Wow, that is so pretty. Early the next morning. Okay, so next day, I had a bit of fun yesterday. Not. Um, so you know I left it with the, with the antlers in here. Well, by the time I come to FaceTime my mum last night, um, they were floppy. So yeah, that was fun. Uh, so I got some acetate and I'm growing my tree <laughs> on my acetate. It looks like a tree, doesn't it? So yeah, I just used some sellotape on the acetate and hopefully uh, this is now in place. I mean, I filled the thing up with the for the antlers. It's not as if it wasn't like really full. Uh, so yeah, we'll see. So I'm going to fast forward getting the sellotape off. And then we'll see if they still go droopy. All right, so them are more or less the same from the bottom up. So let's stick them in again. And then I'll take the camera off and I'll show you a I'll come down to like this level so you can actually see what they look like because they are really pretty. All right, they, st they still sort of stuck out as much as last time. So I'll bring you down and we can have a, a better look. So this is the mold by Craspire. I had some mold sent to me from them. Not quite sure if that's going to stay in that position because as you can see, they're quite different. I'm not sure whether they're going to flop again. I don't know. Uh, I love love the idea. Um, it does the, the the mold does need to be a little bit more sturdy, or you need to put like a box or something to hold the shape of the mold. Other than that, it's a really good idea. I absolutely love this. It's so much fun. It would be so cool as like a birthday present to somebody that you've made yourself. You know, you put your rings. I'm not quite sure how a uh, necklace and stuff are, are going to be with these. As I say, they are still quite uh, movable and flimsy. This is, what, two days after. So yes, guys, that is the end of this video. I will keep it on here because you can't really see what it is uh, when you're up on the stand. Let me know what you think. Um, and if you would buy this for an and do it for anybody, because as I say, brilliant birthday present. Just got to figure out how to, you know, make sure that the, the antlers stay where they are. I will leave the link to Crest Buy It in the description box, guys, if you wanted to go check them out. I also have a discount code if you were wanting to, you know, get some money off, because in this climate, we all need it. Any hoodles, I will stop rambling. Again, thank you so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you next time. Bye, guys. Wait.